Hi, my name is Lori Alexander from The Transformed Wife, and today I'm going to teach you how to clean a bathroom without using toxic chemicals. They've, I've read that the air inside of your home is usually much worse than the air outside because of all the toxic chemicals that people use. In fact, uh, my husband's mother died when he was 19, and his sisters believe that she got breast cancer from all the toxic chemicals she used to clean her home. And I watched these vid videos of women cleaning their homes using all these toxic ingredients without opening windows, without using gloves. And all the, all the fumes you're um, breathing into your lungs, if you're not using gloves, you're absorbing them into your skin. So the best thing to do for your family and for, the, for your own health is to learn to clean with non-toxic ingredients because they, they work just as well as the toxic ones. Maybe not quite as well, but elbow grease is good for, for us to do. <laughs> Physical exercise is very good. I'm the type that when I learn that something's bad for me, I stop doing it. Just recently I learned that nail polish and fingernail polishes are extremely toxic. In fact, they're one of the most toxic things you can put on your body. So I no longer will ever paint my toenails. I haven't painted my fingernails for many, many years. But I usually do in the summer my toenails, but I won't anymore because I don't want those toxic um, chemicals into my body. And if you research it, you probably, you might not either. I'm just the type that when I find out something's bad for me, I stop and I find alternatives to, um, to health. And because losing, I've lost my health for many years and life is not fun. When you're not healthy, it's much more, much easier to be joyful, um, work hard around my home, have people over and, and everything when you feel good. So health is a wonderful thing. And so we should do everything that we can to keep ourselves and our children healthy. This is the product that my all-purpose cleaner, and I use it on windows, in sinks, on shower stalls, on mirrors, in, um, on counters in my kitchen, on my stove top, everything. And it, all it is, is I pour in half white vinegar, cheap white vinegar from Costco, and then the rest water, and then I put a couple squirts of dish soap. Dish dish soap into it and shake it and this is what I use and you can use it on your I use it on my floor I use it everywhere it's completely non-toxic and the vinegar smell evaporates quickly and you could put essential oils in it if you would like a pretty smells to it lemon would be pretty and you could even um you I use it on my furniture my wood furnish furniture and then for sinks and things that you need to scour that have stains, like maybe in your bathtub, the bottom of your shower and your sinks. I use Barkeeper's Friend. Ajax is very chemical laden, um, so you don't want to use Ajax. Barkeeper's Friend is wonderful. You can find it at Target or any of those stores. Um, and I've been using it for years with great results. Anytime that anything is hard that stains, like the Magic Eraser that a lot of people use, and Ajax, those have a lot of chemicals in them, and you don't want to use those. And then for your sink, um, if your sinks are real grimy and dirty, you'll, you will have to use Barkeeper's Friend. And then I just keep one of these cheap little um, sponges underneath the sinks in the bathrooms that I could scrub out the sinks, but usually they don't get that dirty because I clean my sinks, my bathrooms once a week. So all I do is just spray them with this and wipe them out with cotton tails. I got a bunch of these from Costco, just, you know, I use them on my mirrors, my counters, my sinks, everything, and they're great, my shower stalls. Um, and then another thing that's really good, is if you have windows in your bathrooms or windows anywhere, this is just the best thing to clean windows with because I even use it on my car because it leaves no streaks. Sometimes I'll even use it on my bathroom mirrors. And I, um, my husband, or when we sh after we shower, will squeegee down the shower so it doesn't get those hard, hard water spots, which I'm thankful he does. It was kind of a source of content contention in our marriage when we first got married, but we kind of played a game. He said he would do that if I would do something else for him, and so it worked out great. So now it's just a habit for him, which I think, I take baths mostly, mostly I love baths. So anyway, and then I have this little, um, what's it called, duster? It's not Swiffer duster. <laughs> and I use this for the blinds in the bathroom. And if you keep it up, and you won't have to do it that often you have to keep the dust off of them and then I'm not I didn't bring my vacuum or my broom up to show you to sweep my floors or and I shake out my rugs because I, I felt like you don't need to see that you've 
I'm sure you know how to do that. You should be. So anyway, I will just start doing doing it a little bit. I'm not going to do it thoroughly, but I'll just show you, kind of give you a, a, a kind of a feel for what I do in cleaning my bathroom. Okay. Okay. I have two windows in here. I'll just show you one how I do it. First, what you want to do is you want to take up the blinds. If you have blinds, and then to clean windows, easy, easy. Just spray it. I probably should have done this window. I think I'll do this window because I think you'll be able to see that better. And I'll do that one after I um, finish. See, this gets tangled up. These are really old blinds. I've had them for 20 years. They don't like this thing out anymore because these are choking covers for children, but you don't have little children in here. So you spray your window like this. And then you take a rag, a white cotton rag, just wash the window. If they're outside, you're going to have to do it a little bit more thoroughly. Wipe down this down here, wipe the top of there. And then you take this. This is a Itori. And I've had this for years, and it works great. Um, they just make the windows so clean. It's the only thing I wash windows, clean windows with. Even over my sink when I just want to, um, I just want to wash the window in, in front of my sink, I'll use this one just because nothing to me works as good as this and it's fast. See, then you've got clean windows right like that. Okay, then when the wet mat's clean, I just kind of wipe this down, this bottom part. It kind of gets all the water. Then you close your blinds. And then you use a Swiffer duster. And you just kind of go through each line like this. I'm not going to go through the whole thing for you, because you get the idea. But if you keep that up, and you just clean ice and bitches out, I don't know if you can see that. And, oh, yeah, you can. So you just kind of dust your, dust your um, pictures. And then for the bathtub, for your. For your bathtub, all I need to use for my bathtub is this because it doesn't have any black stuff. If you keep up on it, you're not going to have black grimy stuff in your bathtub or in your shower. Mine's kept up, so I'll just spray it down with this. And then your shower, what you're going to do because you get soap spots all over, you want to spray this all, thoroughly all over the shower and then you let it sit for 5-10 minutes. Because the vinegar will work to loosen up all that soap and the hard water spots. And then you just take your these cloths and then you just wipe them down. It's just that easy. And then I'll show you the sinks and show you how you do my windows. You just spray them lightly with the vinegar and water. Then you take a white cloth and you wipe them down. I don't quite reach the top, but I'll, I think I'll reach it with a squeegee. Now a lot of people just can clean it this way, which is fine, you can just make sure it dried off this way. But I have found that using the squeegee is the best way to have really nice windows with no streaks. And then you always want to wipe this really good in between, else you're going to get streaks on your window. And you can wash your outside windows this way, get the inside of your windows. And the Itori we've had forever. It's a really, really good brand. And, and we haven't even had to replace the blind blades. I've probably had this for 20 years. Okay, like that. And then you just got really nice clean windows. See like that? And you just kind of bring this along the edge. You don't want to get too much water down there. That's why you want to uh, make sure most of the water's off the mirror when you squeegee. So that's how you how you do the window. Okay, for the sink. And the counter, I don't leave many things on my counters. That's what drawers, medicine cabinet, and cupboards are for, is to keep all your stuff in. Ken um, has his shaving cream on here. He keeps a couple things, but not much. Just spray with the vinegar and water. Wipe it off real good. Around your fixtures. And if you have a lot of crud built up around your fixtures, there's little tile brushes you can get. Like even if your tile's really bad, there's little tile brushes that are real firm little brushes that you can use. But if you do this consistently and in your bathroom, you're not gonna get that crud built up. And you're not gonna have to use the tile brushes. But if there are, get the tile brushes 
and, and use them to clean. And then the sink, I just, you know, if it's really cruddy, I will use my bar, barkeeper's friend and a sponge, but because they're not very bad this time, I'll just, sometimes when I color my hair, it'll stain it and I will have to use the barkeeper's friend. Yes, I color my hair. Someone asked me on um, one, one of my Instagrams, why don't you just let your hair be the color that God created it to be? Well, he did create it to be brown until I got older. And my husband likes it brown and I like it too. It's not, I do it myself. I do it every three weeks and it doesn't take very long. So it's not that big a deal for us. So anyway, okay, so I've got a nice and clean kitchen, clean sink. Now I'll show you the toilet. Do the toilet, use the vinegar, you just spray it down and around the floor. And then you clean the top part. Well around that part in the back, because that kind of is the part that gets really grungy quickly. This. And then around here, and for the bowl, you can just spray the vinegar and water in it. I'm just I'm just cleaning down here now and the floor around it. You can just put vinegar and water in the bowl and or a little barkeeper's friend if there's stains and use your I just use a normal toilet bowl cleaner, and that's all I use. And and it seems to work fine for all the years I've been using it. So that's how I clean the toilets. It's, it's really, really simple. Okay, you want your floorboards looking nice, so you just spray them with a the vinegar solution. And for even the floor, you um I I just clean it on on my knees or sitting down. That's how I, instead of getting getting a mop or anything, I just find that it, it does a better job. So that's how you usually go around and clean the floorboards like that and all the, the light plates, the doors, whatever. Anyway, so that's how I clean my bathroom without any toxic chemicals. It's quite easy and it, if you keep up on it, doing it once a week, it shouldn't take you much time at all. And even get your little children to help you. Bye.